In this video, we are going to learn how to use for loop to print even numbers. If I ask you to print even numbers from 2 to 100, can you print them using for loop? In this video, let's learn. All right, so let's see how this can be implemented. Now, what is our job? I have to print even numbers from 2 to 100. Okay, 2 to 100, I have to print the even numbers. Now, this can be implemented using for loop. But how that for loop works, we have to know. For that, open your command prompt and simply type help for. Okay. So, this is where you can easily find how the syntax has to be written. Okay. Now, if you see four percentage variable in set do command. Okay. This is how you have to write. I will show you how to exactly implement it. And there is an important information here. Percentage variable specifies a single letter replaceable parameter. So that has to be a, the variable has to be a single letter. So percentage I, percentage A, percentage B, anything like that you can write. And the other thing um, to use for command in batch program, okay, because we are using batch program, specify instead of writing single percentage, you have to write double percentage and the variable name. Okay, this much you understand. Now, if I hit on enter, this is on the command prompt, hit on enter. So it will show you the uh, rest uh, next set of commands. So here if you see, this is the command I have to use. Okay, This has got something called start. For example, we would like to start from 2. It has an end. 100 is the end. And the steps, what are the difference I would like to make? So 2, comma 2 if I write. So it will first print 2, then it will print 4, then it will print 6, then it will print 8. Like that it will continue till 100. Okay. So this is the exact syntax we need. I will show you how to use this in the batch program. So let me put a comment. And paste it here so that we can easily follow it now let's do it let's write the script it's quite simple echo off and then we have to use the for loop and then I have to use the slash L okay L is to loop through this start and end point okay loop through the start and end point slash L and then I have to write double percentage okay instead of a single percentage you have to go for a double percentage as per the syntax provided by Microsoft okay this is how you have to write all right and then um, I will write some variable, let's say i or whatever you like. Okay, you can put that. And then um, I have to write in and in bracket, I have to write the start point. Start point will be R2, right? So first you write 2, 2, comma, difference, the number of steps you like to take every time. So 2 and the end is 100. You got this? So 2 is the start, 100 is the end. And this is the difference, okay? 2 plus 2 plus 2, like that it will go, okay? 2 plus 2, 4 plus 2, 6, like that it will continue. And then I will write do, and then I will write echo. What I would like to echo? The value of i. So I have to write i. That simple it is, okay? i escape, okay? All right, done. And then I am going to pause it. So pretty simple command. Let me save it. And let's quickly run this. All right, so now you can see on my screen, it has printed from two, four, five, like that it has went till 100. We got all the even numbers printed. Now, let me teach you something else, okay? What if uh, sometimes you like to write it in multiple lines, right? So what you do, you have to start with the open parenthesis, enter it, and you can end it wherever you like. So I would like to end it here. So when you have to write multi lines, you can do it. Now, let's say I would like to put this into a uh, text file or a CSV file, whatever you like. Let's say we would like to put it in a CSV file. Um, all you have to do, I, I have to write the name of the CSV file. Let's say even dot CSV. Okay. Similar way, if you want a TXT, simply replace this to TXT, the extension of text file. And then we'll write it to a text file. Okay. So this is done. Now let's save it and quickly run the script. Okay. It will ask you to enter, hit on enter and now you will see the file has been created. Now if I open this file, I should be able to see the all the even numbers. Now you can see in the Excel file from 2 till 100, all the even numbers has been printed. Okay, if you see till 100, all the even numbers has been printed. Okay, so we got to know. So for loop has got multiple different syntaxes. Okay, many syntaxes are there. We are going to learn as we need it. Okay, because if you continue to read this, you know, you might get confused. So it's better to use it when as we need it uh, as we progress through the tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. 
let's move on to our next topic